Turning a typical cigar box into a musical instrument might sound a little odd, but not to one Weber County man. Tonight we take you inside the story of the cigar box guitar maker. Dan Rascone joins us in studio. So Dan, I didn't know a cigar box could play music, but apparently it can. <laughs> yes, it can, and I didn't know that either. But yes, who would have thought of such a thing? But that's exactly what Ron Proctor is doing. And for this man of science, it's turned into his way of singing the blues. The science of physics and the sound of the blues may appear to be completely opposite, but not to Ron Proctor. Inside his shop in his garage at his home in Far West, he's bringing the two together by taking typical cigar boxes and turning them into guitars. In physics, we study the science of, uh, of motion and energy, and in a guitar, uh, you've got those things. You've got a standing wave on a string, and that's energy. At 38 years old, Ron Proctor, who studied physics in college, has found a new hobby. I make cigar box guitars. In the past six months, he's built 19 of these, each coming with a different kind of look and sound. This one's kind of a, kind of a treble string. A little bit better bridge placement, much bigger box. This one is DAD, which gives you a, a lower, growlier tone. Same strings as number three, but, but it's twangier because it's a smaller body. Ron works here at the Clark Planetarium in Salt Lake City as a production manager. He oversees a team of employees who bring to life many of the exhibits for visitors. We have exhibits that we've made uh, that play a lot like video games, but they're really educational experiences. About six months ago, he was visiting his sister in North Carolina and started reading about music and the blues. So they'd take what they had, boxes, cigar boxes, whatever, take a stick of wood, take the wire off a broom, string it all up, and they'd have a guitar. That's when he discovered cigar box guitar making. The bug bit and I just, just had to make some. So he went to work and started building. I'm gonna drill some holes in it. I thought, man, that, that's pretty cool. And there's some good science in there. There's some, uh, and there's, there's a lot of fun in there. And to top it all off, he gets to make them from his grandpa's tools he inherited after he passed away. I get a, a feeling of connection with him when I, when I use him. A new guitar is born into the world. A science fanatic with a knack for playing the blues. Strum a tune and just kinda helps you feel better. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Now, Ron says he has no plans to quit his day job. He just likes building these guitars as a hobby. He's given them to family and friends and have sold a few, but says he's not wanting to try and turn this into kind of business or anything like that. For more on this story, go to KUTV.com, click on Features, and Inside the Story. I guess you know a guy who's... I know a guy in my band who does the same thing. <laughs> it's, and it's There's an art to it, and there's a lot of craftsmanship that goes into it, but even down to picking the cigar box. That, that is interesting how it all works. Yeah, yeah For me, cool. the fewer the fewer strings, the better. <laughs>